what's up pretty gang it's your favorite nail tech peaches back with another video today's video is about madam glam okay they reached out to me a few weeks ago and they said i could choose three colors so these are the colors that i chose this is not exactly how it came packaged i just arranged it like this so it could look cute or whatever but you know we're gonna go ahead and get into it and the colors and things like that how i feel about it but first let's make sure you guys are following me on instagram our subscriber for today is it's my journey and as usual don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications if you have not already because if they're off how will you know when i'm on you won't exactly so this is kind of more like how it came packaged so you guys know madam glam these are soak off gel polishes they actually have a lot than just regular gel they do have like more harder gel and things as well but they are vegan they are free of like 21 main chemicals um that normally come in gel polishes they are cruelty free as well so it came with a mini led lamp okay and then of course top coat and base coat and then the three colors that they asked me for now let me let me let me give you all the tea okay because the thing about it is i chose these three colors because i do a lot of nail art kind of and i was missing these three type of colors okay so this one is supposed to be a dark brown called oh my brown this pink is supposed to be a baby pink called Sweet November. And then this orange is supposed to be uh, a bright orange called Give Me Pie, right? Now I went through the website. I, I looked at all the pages of color that they had. I chose these three because I felt like I did not have these types of colors in my nail art arsenal, okay? I mix a lot of colors and I kind of was tired of having to make brown every time and like baby pink as well as like brighter oranges like I was kind of tired of mixing to get these type of colors so I was like okay let me just go ahead and get them right so first things first before I go into further detail about how I feel about each color and shade exactly just the pure application of the color very smooth and you can see just off of one coat look extremely extremely um opaque okay so basically opaque means how much color are you getting for the the product okay translucent is not a lot opaque is basically as much color as you're gonna get okay so this pink right same thing one layer and boom right so the thickness it is a little bit on the thicker side and i will say it does smell kind of like the nail reserve um products and i feel like that's because they're both like cruelty free vegan you know 21 or 19 free that's what they call it i guess when it's free of like certain chemicals or whatever so here goes the orange same thing um so yeah they kind of smell like this it's like this like minty kind of ish smell they both are on the thicker side however these madam glam polishes are less thick than um nail reserve and i actually really like this texture or i guess i should say consistency okay because i when coming when doing nail art you don't want anything that's too watery because then you won't have the opacity that you need and if it's too thick it might like the actual bottle itself will get hella messy you know and that's not really what we want so i'm letting those three go ahead and cure going ahead to dry for one full minute okay make sure you're letting it dry for one minute and at this point i don't even know what i'm doing oh i'm showing you guys the website right so, but let me show you why I was disappointed because you can see, right? The color in the swatch on the website was more of a brighter orange. In real life, this looks kind of like, like pumpkin pie. And then look at the baby pink. Like this pink that I got in real life is more of like, not a nudish pink, but kind of compared to like the more bubblegum pink. And it, I mean, the brown is dark brown. Technically, the swatch it showed was supposed to be darker. But I was actually very disappointed because I felt like, dang, what's the point of me choosing those colors? Because now I feel like their swatches aren't accurate. Uh, excuse me while I adjust the camera. And let me tell you guys, I need a new tripod because it broke. Look at this. Like, child. Literally, part of my tripod just broke off. So, oh, I feel like it's always something. Nothing ever just goes smoothly when I record. But you know what? It's okay. So I'm going to show you guys the second coat and I am going to have on screen the swatch. So you can see the opacity level it says it's full opacity. But now that you can see the swatch a little closer, do you see what I mean? Like the color on the swatch was supposed to be like more of like a kind of like a reddish orange, a little bit brighter. This orange is really given like pumpkin spice is given fall and it just looks very much not <laughs> what I thought it was going to be. And then like the brown, I'm not too disappointed in the brown. 
because I mean it still is a dark brown thought it would be a little bit darker but you know what I'm completely fine with this because at the end of the day I just needed a brown you know it's a good base for me to make nudes from because usually when I need nudes I, I literally make them every time kind of tired of that you see what I'm saying but really the pink is what kind of got me the most because the pink was the least similar to the picture like this is nothing like what I thought it was gonna be so like I guess it's good that I have it or whatever but at the end of the day this is not what I thought it was gonna be you know what I'm saying so I will say just beware of whatever you choose it may not be exactly the same okay so if you want something dark I would say choose something darker than what you really really want okay so as far as the top coat it's very thin it's very like watery which you know it's fine it's like standard top coat I guess in a way um so I'm reading the directions actually because the last top coat I got from nail reserve it was not a wipe top coat I mean not no wipe right so basically you had to wipe off the sticky layer after so I'm reading the bottle on this instructions because I don't say it don't say non-wipe no wipe top coat all right so i'm only gonna top coat one so i can kind of test and see what it's like i really do not care for top coats that are top coats that you have to wipe off the sticky layer because i feel like it looks dull like as soon as you start wiping you know with alcohols and things like that it just immediately dulls the shine so i actually prefer no wipe top coats so i probably you know we're, we're, we're just getting into it. And then on top of that, that top coat is also two minutes to cure for LED and 30 seconds for UV. And I'm like, damn, two minutes is damn near a long time. You know? So, or is it, I don't know, 30 seconds? Child, I don't know. I can't remember. You have to read the back of it. But either way, I was like, okay. Uh, yeah, I did two minutes because I'm like, I do not believe this is fully going to cure in 30 seconds either way, even if you do have a um a uv lamp right i, I was just like mm, i'm not doing 30 seconds not enough so i just did two minutes because i had a feeling that it's a no it's let me get this straight i had a feeling that i was gonna have to wipe off the sticky layer uh, sometimes it doesn't always feel sticky it's called an inhibition layer but usually it just feels like when you touch it it feels like why does not dry even though it is and i uh, -uh i don't have time for all that so yeah I, I was just putting lotion on whatever fixing my nail and so now that I touch it, you can see that's not going to fly. Like, no, no, no. We don't like that. So I had a, um, a Lysol wipe sitting behind me that I was about to use to wipe off the table. So I just used that and it came out fine. Don't do that on a real person, of course. But as soon as I did that, of course it was dry. But all in all, I like the consistency. They all cure in pretty much 60 seconds. Not a huge fan of the top coat. And I'm not a fan of the fact that these colors don't look like what I ordered on the website so just really keep in mind that it's it's going to be hit or miss a little bit when you're ordering the colors but do these colors work well yes they do is the color payoff worth it yes it is don't forget i do have a coupon code that will give you guys 30 percent off down in the description and of course i will see you guys in the next one